Hey guys, how you doing? I hope you are doing well. This is LG S65Q Sandbar with Meridian Technology Dolby Audio. This Sandbar is 400 watts audio power. You can change it to specific mode, preset mode, clear voice, bass plus, AI Sound Pro, cinematic, music. So you can change it to specific particular mode you want. What I want to show you is how to hook this soundbar up to your TV. You can connect it to your TV via Bluetooth, optical cable, and HDMI. If you check my video, we connected this soundbar. You will see how we connected it using optical cable and HDMI. What I want to show you is how to connect it to your TV via Bluetooth. And to do this, what you need to do is once you plug the soundbar and wireless subwoofer on, then the next thing to do is switch it on, okay, and select Bluetooth and it's showing us now BT ready okay now the next thing to do you need to switch the TV on and this is the TV audio TV audio now go to your TV settings select the settings so go to the TV settings Okay, once you select the city TV setting, then scroll down to the sound. And you can see the sound is showing us TV speaker. Select on it. Now use the side arrow to go to Bluetooth device. Scroll down to select select device list. Okay, so now I'm going to start stitching the top of the together. Okay, and now it's searching for available Bluetooth device. Okay, and here we go. You can see LG S65Q. Select on it. And it's connecting. It's connected. This is the audio. So this is the audio. With, you can see LG showing us LG TV. Okay, so this is exactly how this works. It, it can increase the volume. You can also change it. I like to create my own fabric when I'm upcycling projects, this is, so I think that's the plan for this. So this is the audio. I move this around because I don't want to leave it in one particular place, but this is exactly how this work, how to hook this up. Again, when you want the bar Bluetooth. With this soundbar, you can also change to specific mode. This is cinematic. This is cinematic mode. Very This is This is clear voice. Pets aren't just animals. They're part of our story. Our bedtime guardians. Our travel This is sports. And that's why we this is music, so you can increase the volume. Animal Friends is here, so you can create more stories together. Plus, every pet policy comes with an added purpose, helping us donate millions to animal welfare charities worldwide. Animal Friends, because all good stories... And when the soundbar is in Bluetooth mode, you can control it with TV remote and the remote for the soundbar as well. So you can, can control it with both of the remotes when it's in Bluetooth connection. Okay, so this is how to hook this up via Bluetooth. If you're happy with this, do me a favor, like, share, and subscribe. It helps the channel. This is optical cable I got at home. So I'm going to show you how to hook this up to your TV via optical cable. But before we do that, this soundbar, the audio power is 400 watts. The total power with wireless subwoofer is 420. The audio power is 400 watts. This soundbar, you can change it to various mode. You have a clear voice using the remote control, so you can change. This is now in Bass Blast. You can change it to AI Sound Pro. AI Sound Pro. You can also change it by pressing this button here. Just the button underneath the volume for you to decrease the volume just underneath you select this is ai 
standard so this standard mode you can change it to cinema cinematic mode and this is pause you can also change it to music you can also change it to game DTS visual bass blast so this is bass blast now to connect this sandbar okay to TV to hook it up is what I want to show you so to connect this sandbar to TV I'm going to use LG TV to connect the sandbar via optical cable and to do this what you need to do is you need to use the optical cable plug it into optical okay and it's in now the next thing we need to do is we need to first of all also unplug the sandbar okay now take this end this is optical okay put it go into the optical end this is where it goes I must say the space is not really enough space for it to go in but this is where it goes so you just need to find a way to push this inside okay so it's gone in but I must say it's a bit of a, a struggle there should be enough space for you to put the optical but it's gone in okay so now plug the power cable okay in so this is the power cable go push it inside okay now the next thing we need to do is we need to plug in the sandbar and the wireless subwoofer plug it back in okay and plug the tv plug the tv on okay and the tv is on and also you need to make sure connect the tv antenna okay so now so from this TV so you need to switch the sandbar on okay and this is the sandbar it's showing us hello we need to change it to then use the input to change it to optical okay optical slash hdmi act so now go to the tv go to the settings for the tv scroll down to the audio optical out device so this is how to hook this up okay i don't want to leave this in one particular place due to copyright issue but this is the audio you can also increase the volume This is the audio. So with this, you can increase increase the volume. What I want to do is to show you how to hook this up to TV via HDMI cable. This soundbar is with audio power 400 watts. I must say to put this optical cable you need enough there's not enough space so it should really be a bit of gap okay but I managed to put this okay with optical cable so you need a bit of space now what I want to show you is how to hook this up first of all I need to remove the optical cable then and hook this up to using HDMI okay so this optical cable out okay so with HDMI cable to hook it up you need to go to hdmi out tv arc okay so put the cable in
okay so it's in you just need to try to squeeze it in but i must say there's really should be enough space for you to be able to do this but the cable is gone in so it's in hdmi tv e arc okay now the next thing you need to do is to the back of the tv okay turn the tv around So this end of the cable needs to go to HDMI in to e -arc. Okay, so it's in. So the cable is here. Just need to push it inside. HDMI, just, you see HDMI in to e -arc, the back of the TV. So I'm just gonna turn this around. So plug in the, the antenna. Now, plug in the sound bar. Okay. So from here, the next thing to do is we need to switch on the sound bar. So switch the sound bar on, then select. You will see the button for the bot for for you to mute the audio. After that, the next one is input. Okay, the next one with the cable is input. So select on it to change it to specific. So once you switch the sound bar on, it will show you hello. Okay, then press this button. Okay, for you to change it to this is BT Bluetooth LG TV HDMI USB. So now it's currently in HDMI slash optical okay so now switch the tv on and you can see hdmi 2 available this, this, this is the audio and if you so this is the audio if you want to know the, the next thing to do is you need to you need to go to the settings I want to move this around. I don't want to leave it in one place due to copyright issues. So select the settings for the TV. So select the settings. Once you select the settings, then you need to scroll down to sound. So scroll down to sound. You can see HDMI ARC device. So now this is the... So this soundbar is connected via HDMI and it's showing us here ARC. Okay, so this is how to hook this up via HDMI app. If you're happy with this, please do me a favor, like, share, and subscribe. It helps the channel. So I move this around. You can also increase the volume. Clues as to who would inherit the school land. Can increase the volume as well. You can also select specific mode you want. You can select voice mode. And this is Bass Blast AI Sound. This is AI Sound. This is standard cinematic. So, this is how to hook this up. If you're happy with this, please do me a favor like, share, and subscribe. It helps the channel. Thank you.